We're going to go through a quad mobility drill here, looking at both the middle part and the outer part of the quad. For most people, the outer part of the quad, vastus lateralis, is where it's really tight and restricted. That's where we're going to focus, but you can just as easily do the same drill on the middle part. In runners, this is one of the most critical muscles, and if it's tight, it's going to impact every part of your running stride. So you really want to pay attention here. If you find spots, it is a sign that you need to work on this. We're going to start with the roller, place that on the ground. You're going to use the middle strip here and the side strips, just depending on what angle you're going to put the body in. And very simply, you're going to just place your leg into it. You put all the weight into it, and you're just going to start rolling back and forth, looking for those tender, restricted spots. If you find one, do very small rolls, you know, really focusing in on that one spot, and roll the body weight, just like Caitlin's doing, such that the outer part of the quad is pressing on that, looking for those tender, restricted areas, and then if you want to hit the middle, you just roll more flat down like this. Essentially, you're just hunting around, trying to find those tight, restricted areas, and if you find one, work it out. Spend about 25 to 30 seconds. You might need to do longer, but start with that before moving to the Acu Mobility Ball. Then we're going to go through a dynamic active release sequence in which we're patterning hip extension while releasing the quad. For this, you're going to start on the outer quad muscle here. Here's the IT band. Here's the middle quad. You're going to find four spots. One, two, three, four. And you're going to go through reps, bending your knee and firing your glute. Bring the opposite hip up to create a stable base. 45 degree angle here. Find a restricted tender spot. You want to try to keep that hip on the ground and that'll keep that knee off the ground there. And you're going to keep those toes at that 45 degree angle. It's very important. And you're just going to bend the knee and drop the toes, trying to get the toes all the way down towards the ground. You're going to find <laughs> in the beginning that might be impossible to do. And that just tells you how tight that quad muscle is. So you're squeezing the glute and the hamstrings to bend the knee here and you're dropping on down. We're patterning and releasing at the exact same time. This is one of the best drills that you can do as a runner to start engaging those glutes and working on improving your hip extension. Find three to four spots, three to five reps each spot. If you need to, you can put a towel over the ball and then just work your way deeper as you go. It's going to be tight because it's sitting and it's going to be hard to start, but it will get easier over the weeks.